Hey there, everyone. That Sexy Nerd is back again, and we're finally here for commercials! <laughs> so, uh, last year, he did the Bill Cosby commercials, so, <laughs> you know, that was all fun and good and uncomfortable. Uh, so, what can he do this time? I just have no idea. There's, I, I recognize one, one on there. It's a little honeycombs mascot that was crazier than that last one, but more on speed, you know? Yeah, or cocaine, uh, whatever, either or. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> uh, this is going to be a fun one. And, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, get into it. And remember, please, smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content, and subscribe if you think I deserve it. And remember, sign up for my Patreon for all my latest reactions to all my latest videos. And I'm also signing, I might be doing, uh, Deadpool Wolverine soon, finally. Um, since I'm now having some limitations on my YouTube, I might as well try and get it through. If not, then... At least you could sign up on my Patreon and watch it there. And let's do this thing, y'all. All right, on we go. Oh, wait a minute. What? There, I teleported back two videos ago Good. to shout commercials! Oh, we commercials. got commercials earlier. earlier. What am I going to do next year? Huh. Commercials! Commercials! <laughs> Guess I traveled back a whole year. Not sure how I'm going to top that. Anyway, on we go. Yes. After these messages. After these messages. After after these messages, we'll be right back. You know when you got it right, oh, Charles. Charles. This one starts off harmless enough. It's music legend Ray Charles saying how much he loves Diet Pepsi when someone switches it out with a Diet Coke, resulting in this reaction. All right, now who's the wise guy? <laughs> of course, they switch it back out with Diet Pepsi, and Ray Charles says, Now, that's the right one, baby. Naturally, it's Deer Piss. Taste the same, baby. Cute. Honestly, you wouldn't think too much about it. But for some reason, Pepsi thought we saw this as our new anthem. You know when it's right. So they had no it right it's right. Them, presenting the voice of millions of people saying, oh, is that still a thing? I can't really diss this song because it is catchy, but it's how bizarrely massive they made these ads. That's right. At no point in history has this made people ever gotten together to celebrate Diet Pepsi. It's right! Uh -huh. uh -huh. They got an orchestra, dancers, backup singers called the Uh Huh Girls, which sounds like an OnlyFans band. Oh, but the world was celebrating people's. To be fair, his last, his, his actual, actual group when he was, uh, when he was up and coming, were the, uh, the Raylettes. Does that mean we have to let Ray? Oh, oh Lord, what am I do with you? The difference to this aspartame liquid styrofoam. Do you think it's caught on yet? Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know, Ray. Oh, do you think what? what? This temple is reserved only for the most sacred of deities and deities. <laughs> <laughs> Irresistibly suitable, uncontestably tasteful and eminently wonderful. It extended to places we didn't even know got Diet Pepsi. <laughs> Now, ooh, uh, <laughs> Unknown, really? Oh, I wonder. Players at Super Bowl are like, time out. Can you get this Diet Pepsi movement under control? I am an artist perfecting my craft. <laughs> Celebrities were joining the movement, like Jerry Lewis, Buddy Hackett, presumably just showing up like this. Weird out traveling through time, the Beastie Boys. Jeez. This was truly the voice of a generation if you were born in the 20s. I'm a changed man. This is the right one, baby. It's got a hold on me. I think that is where Andy Dick is working right now. Wow. The movement extended so far, even Congress got involved. Do you have any knowledge of a secret ingredient in Diet Pepsi? Uh-huh. Oh, I missed no. the 90s when our biggest political problems were this and Cobra. An ingredient that gives Diet Pepsi yeah. an unfair... Now the country's been taken over by Cobra. What a sad day we live in. Advantage. Uh -huh. Also, are you now or have ever been a communist? We're just pushing for the absence of private property and social classes. Uh oh, you tell us don't you say that. Uh huh. Well, 
What is it? Jesus, I thought you flipped the table for a second. What is it? My goddamn foot up your ass. <laughs> Perhaps the biggest sign that this changed the world is when Uh Huh officially became an ingredient. You got the right one, baby. With 100%. Bye bye, bye, bye. Yeah. So could no longer dispute it. They even listed it with the other nutritional facts. <laughs> with 100%. Uh huh. With 100%. Uh huh. Oh, don't you just love Ray? With 100%. Uh huh. Which is funny because I always tasted less Uh huh and more. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, I got blown out of proportion, but with a catchy jingle and a likable icon singing it, yeah. it was a kitschiness that was tolerable enough. Which is oh, right. more than I can say for Diet Pepsi. You got the right one, baby! With 100 Bye, oh, baby! Oh. Yeah. Hi, pal. My name's Corky. Wanna well, see the only toy more disturbing than a Chucky doll? Oh, no. This is Corky, a toy version of Robert Picardo from Total Recall. I'll tell you stories and we'll play together. See, this is why I never found Annabelle scary. That's intentionally trying to look terrifying. It's when you're trying to look adorable and it horrendously backfires. He says he's your friend, but we know from that opening stare he's the missing poster to the movie Magic. Come on and be my best friend. That <laughs> boy, this kid looks like someone who'd have this doll as his only friend. Kid. It's every cartoon drawing of Peter Lorre. Wanna be monsters? It's where the wild things shouldn't. Wanna be monsters? Not really. Wow, that was so uncomfortable. It's the only commercial I've ever seen where the toy is like, you want to play? And the kid is like, no, no. I do not. <laughs> I didn't know we went back to the Bill Cosby commercials. Why didn't he tell me? Should have put that in the description. Race car drivers. Animation is not endearing me to this further. <laughs> Even the kid sounds a little pissed off. Gee, Corky, we need to talk about something. It's almost real. I didn't for you to show up. You just held a knife to my back and said, we're friends now. <laughs> Corky, he's going to your brother. And if you're wondering what the hell that means, Cricket was actually the doll that came out before him. And I guess this was their oh. attempt to try and target boys. Oh. Why do we Sure. No. She's as bad as Corky, but she does look like someone gave her a lobotomy. Oh, that shit looks worse. Like, the cuckoo's nest treatment to be kind. Yes, yes. Well, they mentioned this fact. Like you should be on the lookout for him. Corky, he's Cricket's little brother, and he's wanted in seven states. We can't tell you what for. It'll give you nightmares. <laughs> yeah, this prepackaged goosebumps episode is weirdly handled, but to be fair, it is a weird product. One that hopefully won't be making its way to your sleep paralysis. Uh. He, he's Cricket's little brother by Playmates. I'm going to kill you. Oh my god, Indiana Jones? I'm the mummy? No. So in the 90s, Tombstone Pizza was looking for an ad campaign to increase their sales. They came up with this scenario where it's a person about to be axed off, and inevitably, they always ask this question. What do you want on your tombstone? Pepperoni and cheese. Yep, every uh -huh. time they'd ask, they'd always answer nothing I'm but time. British. Well, Never you lost that. Pepperoni and cheese. Damn it, we gotta stop offering an ironically named Italian cuisine. This guy gets around too. Is he quantum leaping or is he one of the missing doctors? The same guy. Powell. No. Or just a witch. <laughs> Even Aaron Paul, before becoming big, was asked after throwing a big party. It wasn't a party. It was a fiesta. What oh. do you want on your tombstone? A taco meat with cheddar cheese would be mighty tasty. Hi. Oh, we're not getting through to him. Maybe something more drastic. I knew it. <laughs> Too soon? I, I haven't seen that episode. What happened there? No. What would happen if somebody misunderstood? Like, they gave a real answer. And what do you want on your tombstone? John Johnson, a hard and sturdy man. Uh, okay. Christ, what if it went the other way? Like somebody didn't know there was no pizza involved. <laughs> Hello? Sarah, it's been years. You have to let your dead husband go. What did he mean, though? They asked him for his last words, and he said pepperoni and cheese? What did he mean? <laughs> he panicked and said something random. <laughs> you know, there's more to it than that. What it's a code, and I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> but Sarah... What did he mean? What happened to Tamra? What did he mean? Did she get pregnant or something? Regardless, these ads do work off for mainly Jesus. just one lame joke, but they do have a bit of charm to them. What do you want on your tombstone? Special order pizza. Also, oh, it's the
I'm sorry. Is that Bob from my that 70s show? Hey there, hi there, ho there. I think it is. You have a bit of charm to them. What do you want on your stone? Special order pizza. Rocky, it's the governor. Take a message. What? I'm sorry. Bob is not good uh, that good an actor to pull off a mafioso. I know that's what they were trying to do, but no. No, no, no. Give him an afro. Call it a day. <laughs> if you grew up in Chicago land in the oh, 90s, God. you grew up with the Eagle Insurance commercials. Oh, God. The ad opens with two women driving down the road. What's that? Do you have insurance on this car? Do you have the receipts of those acting lessons I was sending you to? Oh, sorry, you were man. Just Eagle man. I've got something for you. <laughs> oh! Eagle man is foul! No, he lays an egg on her car, much to her whatever emotion that's supposed to be. There's all in this line. Oh, look at those low rates. <laughs> they're so low, they're dragging across the floor like a 90-year-old grandpa. Okay, we're gonna need to whip this out. Mm. Hey, Eagle Man, can you remove that egg damaging my car? What am I watching? Well, insurance doesn't cover Eagle-related damages, so you're stuck. Eagle guarantees the lowest auto rates in Illinois. However, uh, something didn't feel right. I don't weird for this ad, right? But yeah, weird, somebody right? pointed out, male eagles don't lay eggs. Well, they had to fix this right away, so in the sequel, they so changed it to Eagle Woman. Oh, no! Well, eagle Woman's looking fine. I know. They even got local shock jock Man Cow to cameo in this one, reacting exactly how you would think a guy named Man Cow would react. And of course, seeing how this is Eagle Woman now, this just sounds so much more appropriate. Oh no. I've got something for you. Look, she's <laughs> dropping her rates. <laughs> Look, I can hold both milky white rates right in my hand. Look at those low rates. I hope that's his driver's license picture. <laughs> and what's written on his tombstone? <laughs> Eagle Woman. I guess transition oh, back to Eagle Man. Hey, you do you, I guess. And what, that's what did it say? I hope that's his driver's license picture. And what's written on his tombstone? But then he Freak you auto insurance. How did you get away with that? How did you get away with that? Eagle Woman. I guess transition back to Eagle Man. Hey, you do you, I guess. And gave us one Trendy. more bizarre ad that looks like a deleted scene from Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. What's going on over there? That's Freak. And she's going to be selling her some car insurance today. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to end with Leatherface's family, isn't it? <laughs> You'll buy our insurance or you won't get the car. Is this Bob's what Burgers? What is the mindset behind these voices? What happened to you people? What's that? It must be Eagle Man. He may have given up Eagle Woman, but he's still farting some turds. <laughs> Yes, Though they don't mention low rates in this one, they stick up <laughs> testicles and release her from the bones oh, the of the WTFness. And our kids hold them even more like Madonna's bra to the point where it kind of looks like Madonna now. Oh. Don't buy your insurance oh. from a freak dealer. These ads are fun. For a while I thought they were only known by Chicagoans, but seeing how they got a fair amount of views, maybe the way of the eagle is shitting its way into our hearts. Look at those low rates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh no! With passion, there it is! Serial ever since the 70s has tried to obtain a solid identity. For a while, they had this clubhouse where kids could hide from bullies because, well, they built a clubhouse decade to cereal. Wouldn't you beat them up? In the movies, <laughs> they gave them a robot because it's the 80s, and big people would drop by for that big taste, like yeah. Andre the Giant and. I'm Big Betty the Blonde Bomber. Her? In the 90s, however, they switched yeah. that out for a creature called the Craver. He represents the hungry craving kids have, and that honeycomb can always feed. Great. Sounds simple enough, but the transformations these kids would go through are truly the sugary ingredients of hell. I just gotta have that honey sweet crunch. Me? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Bandicoot, if he was in the hills of eyes, tell me they're not gonna make a smile style movie out of this. Oh, it's so real. Thank you, I don't need to see that thing's own face. <laughs> no matter where they were, the craving for honeycomb Seriously. would always summon them. You honeycomb, me want honeycomb! Me want honeycomb! Remember me, Eddie? When I killed your brother! And like that, 20 new songs. Remember me, Eddie? Hey, honey! And like that,
They had 20 new Sonic the Hedgehog fandoms were made. <laughs> In fact, this guy looks like Sonic the Hedgehog's meth head brother. He does! With the ball sack. Where's the honeycomb? Oops, back in the van. I don't remember that one. Yeah. Love that See, this is why sex ed is so important. Boys would think this is what happens when a girl gets her time of the month, and girls would think this is what a boy's testicles dropping looks like. And they're <laughs> mostly wrong. <laughs> mostly wrong. <laughs> Why does this shit like the funniest thing ever? I'm glad I'm finally seeing Cocaine Bear from the bear's point of view. No. No. Way to go, dude. Thanks. I'm questioning a lot of things being in that state. I'm not kidding when I say there need to be creepy pastas written about just these transformation faces. I love all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Me want a honeycomb. I know they were a hit and I guess a little creative. Yeah. But man, they were freaky to watch. Oh, yeah. Post honeycomb cereal is part of this nutritious breakfast. Where will you be when the craving strikes? You know why? You know why he's so traumatized by freaky things like that is because he grew up in the 80s he grew up as a kid in the 80s and let's be honest a lot of scary things were in those that decade i kill your brother that's freaky as this one though oh boy this is an ad for a toy called feeling special pets the pet that tells you how it's feeling it isn't enough idea but if you were a sick kid like me a bad one i know how he feels it hurts because he tells me i'm sorry it hurts. Please stop. Does mommy take you to a therapist? It doesn't help that this thing has the permanent face of someone who's seen shit. Just, just he's seen shit. <laughs> it hurts. Cause he tells me I'm sorry. It's okay. The scars are mostly psychological. When my feeling special puppy has too much to eat, I know how we feel. Cause he tells me. Now excuse me. Burping is more of a bodily function than an emotion. That's yeah, good. Why was I designed with nerve endings? <laughs> it wasn't just puppies, though. They also made kittens. Just listen to this one's adorable voice. Oh, no. I know my special kitty loves me, cause she tells me I love you too. What the hell? Is she the woman that voiced that? <laughs> it's clearly the same voice as before. Why don't they even call her a she if she has the same voice as the male one? Was it just one guy in a booth who was like... Yeah, so what is this? Like, pound puppies and <laughs> shit? Yeah, yeah, look at my mic. Actually, it's for a toy called Feelin' Special Pets. So, pound puppies. No, it's a completely different... Yeah, it's pound puppies. Okay, let's record the dog lines. Sounds good. I love you, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. It hurts. What kind of doll is this? Uh, that's fine. Let's move on to the female cat. Got it. All right. I love you too. I love you. Excuse me. It hurts. We done. Uh, Perfecto. You did hear me say female, right? Yeah. I okay. think we're good. Yeah, we do you need an angelic princess voice? No. <laughs> then we even put the title of the product on screen. Maybe because the idea of spelling out in text, when you touch them, you'll know how they feel, just sounds eerie. <laughs> The new Feelin' Special Pets, each sold separately. When you touch them, you'll know how they feel. Ah! I've been touched in areas I didn't even know I had. Ah! These toys are uncomfortable. This commercial's uncomfortable. I don't like it. Next one. When you touch them, you'll know how they feel. Cause they tell you. Oh, no. Come on, kids. Before working on Roger Rabbit, animation oh, director Jesus. Richard Williams did a lot of commercials and PSA. Hey, Superman. Superman! The best known is Superman stopping a villain trying to get kids addicted to smoking She's called awesome. nicotine. Just gonna take a wild guess and say his parents smoked. If you want to grow up fast, take one of these! <laughs> no. Nick's not often invited to the Legion of Doom. They felt his low-stake plans were rubbing off on Lex Luthor. Also, are we really not gonna talk about that right there? Are we really not going to talk about that right there? Why is he all the way back? Why? Why does it look like he had took those out of his his pants? Out of his the front of his pants? Like, that's no good. <laughs> Nick's not often invited to the Legion of Doom. They felt his low-stake plans were rubbing off on Lex Luthor. Now you'll tell me why <laughs> peanut butter tastes so great. Superman! Superman, is it hard to give up smoking or is it easy like nicotine? Oh, Metropolis being a European city as of late. 
Not so fast, nicotine. If you want to go up fast, take one of these! Why does Superman sound like a 70s kung fu movie dub? <laughs> With my x-ray vision, I can see the harm cigarettes do inside people's bodies. That's why I never say yes to a cigarette. So, unless Lois smokes them, of course. You really shouldn't smoke, you know, Miss Lane. Don't tell me. Lung cancer, right? Not yet, thank goodness. You know, I this literally really punched a man into space for this. His frozen corpse is crackling over Jupiter as we speak. <laughs> this is probably his villain's evil plans were always the greatest. Great story! An old wizard teaching kids tricks with cigarettes! Wow, the 80s were looser than even I remember. Even Joel Camel would be like, You need a conscience. If it's a pup, you <laughs> Okay. Soups would always Why are they all British? Granted, his methods were a touch less subtle in the Zack Snyder version. Now I must stop Nicotine from spreading cigarettes. How'd this even happen? <laughs> They're a tad corny, but Superman should always be at least a little corny. I have a soft spot for these PSAs no matter how goofy they can be. And that's why I never say yes to a cigarette. Super. Meet the Puttermans. So we all know the Energizer Bunny really took off, but sadly, Duracell didn't have a mascot who was Duracell. iconic. Well, that was all about to change in the 90s, or so they thought, with the creation of a family called the Puttermans. Duracell was so excited for them, they even had a teaser for the commercials. Just your typical suburban family. Well, sort of. Makes you wonder, who are they? Um, Silly question. Creepy. Uh, the Puttermans. You'll meet them this fall. Rated R. Yes. Yeah, seriously, even the trailer is like, what are we doing? These things are freaky. Yes. Uh, not a very interesting piece. Reminiscent of early Dadaism. What's Dadaism? My best guess is they were trying to replicate the success of The Simpsons, but they look more like British Bake Off cake sculpted like Dick Tracy villains. <laughs> Instead of, is it cake? It should be, is it human? Is everybody using Duracell batteries? The idea, I guess, is that there's some sort of robotic toy family always using Duracell batteries, and somebody inevitably uses a different battery, resulting in them breaking down. Uh, and that's it. That's every ad. That's it's it? Yes. yet? We were living in Tulsa with your great aunt Emma. <laughs> we shared a one-room apartment! Herb, did you slip her one of those other batteries? Me? <laughs> Seriously, she is dead, though. Even if you bring her back, she didn't have a battery save option, so she won't remember who she is. Batteries are batteries, bro. David Duchovny? Sometimes there's a twist. Like, somebody else will have a Duracell battery, so they'll go even longer. I have a long-lasting Duracell battery. The fish has a Duracell battery, too! Good thing I Damn got it. a long vacation! I don't care, I'm just wondering let the henchmen from the Rocketeer procreate. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even walking in this one. They're floating. What do you expect when you're a family of Satans? See, I, I know I should be laughing a little bit more, but this is too terrifying. She has been running on the same Duracell battery since the Stop smiling! <laughs> if you're thinking to yourself, that boy looks like AI trying to eat Jimmy Neutron, that's because <laughs> it is Jimmy Neutron. No. Yeah, that's his voice actors, whose name I'm not going to attempt to say again. No! Played by Debbie Derry. Played by Debbie Berry. <laughs> Debbie Derry Berry. Played by Debbie Berry. Debbie Derry. Debbie Derry Berry. His family what? experiments is wearing the skin Debbie of Debbie Berry. What the fuck? Ah, the fresh autumn air. Ah, oh, the total darkness. I will give credit uh. though. This is the one joke that got a laugh out of me. Why are those darn flashlights? Still works. Where's mine? Oh. Ah! <laughs> are you sure you could just play that scream anywhere and it'll <laughs> get a laugh? See? <laughs> these are hideous. I hate it's looking funny. at them, but they're so bad they are at least a little fascinating. No matter how lame they got, I guess to some extent they are still worth talking about mm -hmm. years later. You can't talk. The copper <laughs> <laughs> Well, all cuts off! He's defeated Mothra. He's defeated Engus. But he's never faced... Cuts off! Godzilla! Oh, son of a bitch! A between Godzilla and Charles Barkley. I remember this shit. Nobody was asking for that, but we're not gonna turn it down. Yeah. And I'm not kidding when I say they built this up like mad. There were. There was a damn. Look at that. There was a damn comic book. It's uh, what? What were you thinking? I was thinking that I would make so much money, but you're the biggest star in Japan. You could never have too much money. Ask Donald Trump. The Battle of the Century. Get ready to see a real monster jam. Uh, Holy smokes, nobody knew they wanted this, but now couldn't imagine a world without it. <laughs> September 9th, September 9th. Okay, tune into. Where the hell do I watch this? It's a commercial. Mm. Well, anyway, I just gotta keep my eyes peeled. 
Okay, here it is. Yeah. Oh my god, he's putting on the glasses. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, his tail knocks the ball up, but Barkley retrieves it. He fouls that scary monster. Point goes to Barkley. And I guess that was the only point. Have you ever thought about wearing shoes? What the hell, man? That's yeah. it? I mean, I know it's a commercial, you only got so much time, but I don't know, split up into parts, pay for extra air time. The Energizer Bunny versus Darth Vader was more epic than this. <laughs> Dude, the freaking comic had side characters. Godzilla melting the ball, playing in a canyon, getting lizard shoes. A magic silver dollar that makes Barkley huge. It didn't make any sense, but that's the kind of bullshit we wanted. Okay, I had watched just the commercial. I never read the comic book. <laughs> really? But this? I'd rather watch... You almost made me say it. No, no, Great no. Bellador, I would... I like that movie. But man, what a lame payoff. Have you ever thought about wearing shoes? That's a lot of shit. <laughs> On October 30th, 1985, a Cabbage Patch Kid actually traveled into space. Let's be honest, Elon Musk has done stupider things. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> actually traveled into space. Since then, the Cabbage Space Race begun. The Russian rutabaga rugrats will not be foiled. SPICE! Since then, boys and girls all over have been testing to see if their kids have what it takes. Yeah, I guess like Quirky, this was an attempt to market a more feminine doll to a more masculine audience. As you can tell by this clip of a boy looking judgingly at a girl hugging the doll. I hold my Cabbage Patch Kid like a man! Dude, you have Garbage Pail Kids pre-movie. You have no idea how good you have it right now. Ugh. But hey, Barbie show girls are interested in space. As long as her suit can transform into a miniskirt for dancing, then she did that. it for science! Gravity check! Even the toy has a look like I'm supposed to be in a baby crib. What the hell am I doing in orbit? Are you sure that wasn't a baby? The story was they sent an actual cabbage child to space. Hey, I don't know what NASA was up to back then. Mm. I kind of love how underwhelmed this one kid seems here with the epic music. Tropical force test! <laughs> Just like, yeah, space. This sucks. <laughs> you can train for a space mission with your Cabbage Patch young astronaut. It's an odd idea, and I guess an odd ad. What else can you say, but it's nothing to go to the moon for. <laughs> the Cabbage Patch young astronauts each sold separately with hands and hold from Coleco. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, no! It's aged amazingly. <laughs> Why do I love you? Oh, that's your biggest crime? You gotta do a freaking uh, commercial version of all of his now. He's got plenty of commercials that have aged bad. Even the song, I need a girl to ride, ride, ride. I need a girl to be my wife. That has kind of aged horribly. Why does something that feels so good oh, Jesus. hurt so bad? Why are you? You don't know the half of it, my friend. <laughs> Do you love me? Is this a trick question? <laughs> Believe in me. Gonna be hearing a lot of that for a while. Unforgivable. Okay. <laughs> Where's the Mad TV logo? This clearly can't be real. I mean, wow, that was literally every line you can make a joke out of. I don't know if I've ever had that with a commercial. That was actually kind of spectacular. <laughs> oh, and this is technically a review, so, uh, looks nice, sounds nice, edited nice. Man, did you nail the product name. Watch, get him to the Greek. I already had a, uh, I have a short on my channel right now that shows that that movie can be super... Rel uh, related to how Diddy is today. This is what old pussy used to look like in the 70s. <laughs> what else can you say, but Unforgivable. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, a lamp! Oh, uh, why did you do these commercials earlier? People are familiar with the Red Bull commercials. In 1997, they started using the slogan, Red Bull gives you wings, indicating it gives you a lot of energy. Red Bull gives you wings. I never thought it was that funny a line, but I guess I do still remember it, and to say other people do is an understatement. Red Bull gives you wings. These animated ads always showed someone benefiting from the drink by seeing a can and uh, that's guess, funny. growing wings. Because Red Bull gives you wings! Yes, but it but also stimulates the mind, so get downstairs and open the blooming door! The scenarios are fine, again, I don't think they're hilarious or anything, but tend to get the job done and has a very clear identity. Truth be told, I don't think there's a ton to talk about. Except 
for one ad. Uh-oh. Yes, I'm literally talking about all these commercials just so I can focus on one specifically. It opens with a very tall dog walking with her puppies. Trailing behind her is the father, who's incredibly short, but incredibly proud. <laughs> the ad is so smart at letting you just look at the height differences long enough that you have no choice but to ask, okay, how, how do they do it? She would knelt down. Even if she crouched down, he yeah. wouldn't be able to make it up there, but they seem satisfied, and clearly they've been doing it somehow. Yeah. And then, with virtually no talking in the ad, we get our answer. <laughs> Even with the tail, with the tail, man. Yo, that's, that, how did you get away with that? That's phenomenal. I know. This made me laugh so much <laughs> how they set up and delivered the payoff. You don't think such a cuddly cute commercial is really asking this question? Because you know, how are you going to answer it? You can't. I mean, look at this. They're not going to. Yeah, you Very simple. This in the gutter. Come on. But no, they were planning it from the start and they knew how to. <clears throat> finish off. Yes, they did. Honestly, there's nothing else I can add. They knew how to direct the missile. <laughs> Except my top ten jokes, of course. Oh no. Red Bull gives you wings. But doesn't give you a job. Red Bull gives you wings. It also gives you something else like a bowl. <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> and no blue balls. Red Bull gives you wings. Especially if you go doggy style. Oh. Red Bull gives you wings. And according to the label, makes you horny. Red Bull gives you wings. And make sure bitches aren't tripping. Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> May also give you herpes. Oh. Red Bull <laughs> gives you wings. Just some hair of the dog, but it is pubic hair. Red Bull gives you wings. As well as a decent bone. And the number one joke I have for this ad is... Red Bull gives you wings. So you can conquer Spaniel. Play me Oh! <laughs> <laughs> These ads are fine, but man, this one really raised it to a new level. Ooh, Red Bull that's gives hilarious. Be right back. Well, one thing I won, honestly, I don't have that much commentary on. They just crack me up. Oh no. It's for Suburban Auto Group back in 2003. And somehow, I totally missed all these ads. They're just called trunk monkeys. Monkeys that hide in your car to protect it. Okay, it sounds cute enough, but these ads chimp. go dark fast. The chimp! Like, here's the first one. The chimp will kill him! The Trunk Monkey Theft Retrieval System. Monkey! Oh my god. <laughs> Getting your car back <laughs> Yeah, exactly! No, seriously, if you have a trained chimp as your car, nobody's going to steal it. Nobody's ever going to steal that car. Like, if a, if a chimp will come out of the damn thing, you'll... Tear his balls off with their mouths. I'm not joking. Another revolutionary idea. <laughs> a preview of Osgood Perkins' next flick. And they just keep getting crazier. I think it came with the car. <laughs> the Trunk Monkey Chaperone version. If Andy Circus played this thing, people would be shitting their pants. <laughs> oh no. Planet of the Apes! Christ, I think I'm shitting my pants! <laughs> this thing is hilariously mean-spirited, but fear not, he saves lives too. It's Koba from Planet of the Apes, uh, Dawn of the, from Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Whether you need it or not. Oh my god! Shock advised. Stand clear. I'm curious, George, if he was paid with pain. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man, I think it's happening. Oh no! 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 Breathe with a monkey. <laughs> These ads are so messed up, I swear he was gonna deliver a monkey in that scenario. Tell uh, me you couldn't see that. Imagine. These imagine. Ads are and honestly, I'm shocked they can get away with like half of them. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. The Trunk Monkey. The revolutionary idea you'll only find in Suburban Auto Group. That's a look of a kid who just saw us last day. We are recalling all 2,000 Please. Trump Monkeys, effective immediately. Yeah, and they even recalled him for all the reasons you would think, plus many more. I want a movie Organized. on every single one of these. I gotta see that cult one. <laughs> you get their attention with the Trunk Monkey. People love monkeys, Jesus. but this isn't about monkeys, this is about cars. <laughs> Sadly, after that, we didn't Imagine. see much more of Trunk Monkey, Aww. but I think it's fair to say we got our fill. And aliens was everywhere. 
Holy shit! Now, I don't do probes, so I'm glad I bought a truck with a trunk monkey. What happened to your These face? These crazy, harsh, and extremely funny. If you can find a compilation out there, check it out. You won't regret it. <laughs> It's the hardest I've laughed in quite a bit, and I can't believe it actually made it onto TV. What the heck? Show him the monkey again. You can never have enough monkeys either. I can't. Uh, you know what? I want a trunk monkey. I want a right trunk now. monkey. Come on, there's gotta be somebody out there that best, can make that possible. Best invention ever. Oh no. Look, the incredibly in focus Eagle Man. I got something for you. Should I Wilkins check coffee? my car? Mm-hmm. Oh. Wilkins coffee. Yeah. Or that. It was close. <laughs> I'm Big Betty the Blonde Bomber. Uh, nobody remembers her. I haven't seen a funny episode like that in a while. It's really... <laughs> the commercial ones are always the funniest ones he's got. Um, yeah. Oh, God, I'm crying. Um... <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, some of these were great. The, the honeycomb one, though, like, but yeah, you made me want a trunk monkey. You really did. I, in fact, that's what I think I'm gonna do with the, uh, with the, with the, with the title from, for this video. But what did you think? What, what made you laugh the most? Was, and did, it, did any of them remind you of your childhood? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content. And subscribe if you think I deserve it. And remember, sign up for my Patreon for all my latest reactions to all my latest videos. And I'll see you on the next episode.